We move into the cooler months. You tend to think of warm scents like apple cider, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. Mm -hmm. But another less pleasant scent might also be making its way into your home this time of year. WBK reporter Adam Ferguson spoke with WKU's biology department to sniff out the facts about stink bugs. Stink bugs, and in particular the invasive species known as the brown marmorated stink bug, have a habit of finding any nook and cranny they can use to get into your home so they can comfortably ride out the winter months. Experts say these pests pose no threat to people or pets, but they can still be quite a shock for people who don't expect them. They're not carrying disease, they're, they're not, not toxic. The, the only thing that stink bugs do is they stink. So if you, if you harass them or crush them, you're going to smell the, the, the odor and it's, I don't know, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a unique sort of smelly smell. The first documented brown marmorated stink bug sighting in the United States took place in 1998 in Pennsylvania. And in the years since, they have established a population across the eastern U.S. That odor, that, that, that um, it's released from a gland on the side of the thorax, the middle part of the body. It's purely defensive. Um, they'll, they'll spray it, they'll release it. Um, if you try eating one, and people have accidentally at times, they taste really bad. <laughs> According to Phillips, the best way to keep these pungent pests from penetrating your home is to caulk any possible entry points that they might use to get inside, like weather stripping on doors that can wear down over time. If they do manage to get inside, though, there are a couple options for removing them. You could try picking them up by hand, they don't bite. I mean, if you pick them up gently and you can throw them outside, okay, that could work. But if you throw them outside, they may make their way back in unless you sealed up your house. And if you have a lot of them, I've heard of people having hundreds, literally hundreds coming into their house. So maybe that's not the easiest, easiest way to do it. But I think the vacuum cleaner, that may be the easiest way to, to deal with them inside your house. Reporting in Bowling Green, Adam Ferguson, WBKO News.